guys, it's Marie from Just Add Books and um, the Rotary Club here has an annual book sale and I was going to vlog about it but then I decided I was too lazy to write so um, here I am. But before I get into the books that I got from the book sale I want to talk about, say hello to Lily, um, A Monster Calls by Mr. Patrick Ness who is one of my favourite authors and who has who picked up the story from the estate of the author Siobhan Dowd, Siobhan Dowd, sorry, who I haven't actually read, but um, based on one of her ideas, he wrote the story about a young boy who um, whose mother is dying from cancer and who is waiting every night for the monster to come. But the monster that does come is not the monster that he expects. And you can see there, it's a really short book, it's about, what, 214 pages maybe? And it's got all these beautiful black and white illustrations all through it and everyone who's read it has loved it and I loved it as well. But it puzzles me slightly. See, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Is that it didn't make me cry like I expected it would because it sort of it speaks to one of my greatest fears, which is, you know, not being around for Patrick. And it's beautifully written and it's beautifully told and the boy is heartbreaking. And so I definitely recommend it. But, um... I must be a cold, heartless, evil person because I, I, it just didn't make me cry and it wasn't that I wasn't, wasn't deeply affected by it because I was and it's beautiful. I, that's all I can say. Anyway, as I say, the Rotary Club has, an, has a book sale. Um, and oh, I also read Tender Morsels by Margot Lanigan which was amazing. It was this incredible dark fairy tale about this girl that terrible, awful, horrible things happen to and she has to find a way out of them and find a way out of her own personal little heaven that she creates for her, for her and her children to try and protect them and I was blown away by that as well. So um, consider those my reviews. If this goes shonky it's because Lily is playing with the tripod. She's that kind of cat. Anyway, like I say the Rotary Club has an annual book sale. Um, so we're actually running for four days <laughs> this year because it's a long weekend here. It's Queen's birthday weekend. Um, so I went on the first morning the week before work. Um, and I, I made a few purchases, obviously. Because it was a book sale and I, I read books. Um, so first up, I found this, which is The Complete Stories of Catherine Mansfield. And I've never really read her that much, to be honest. I've read a few, I think. I never read her at school and I've really read her at university either. So, um, but I've always wanted to, so I'm it's quite pleased to get that. And it's a fairly, it's in fairly good nick for a, a hardback that you pick up at a book sale. Um, I also picked this up and I think someone, was it Chris from Stuff His Dreams Are Made On was talking about Sarah Addison Allen. And I've never read her before but this was there. And once again, look, it's, it's practically perfect in every way. And the story looks so sweet and charming that I thought, well, I'll have a go at that. So there's that. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have this. The eye on the door. I actually think I need the Ghost Road to complete the Regeneration trilogy because I read Regeneration last year, I think it was, and oh, it's amazing. And so I want to get the other two and read them. And um, but just in case I didn't have it, I bought it again because that's how my brain operates. Um, I picked up A Fine Balance by Rohinton Mystery, and I apologise if I mispronounced the author's name. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a chunkster obviously, but um, well reviewed I think and sort of well received and all those other things and it, I thought it looked fascinating and it's just sitting there going you have to take me home by me, so I did. This is that. This looks like fun and it's about the rivalry between Elizabeth Arden and Hill and Rubenstein, so war paint. And it's got, you know, photos and, and everything and all the good stuff and all the gossip I'm assuming, all the dirt, I hope. Um, so that should be a good one. Um, Mrs. De Winter, which is the, the eponymous sequel to Rebecca, um, by a definite De Maurier, and I can't remember whether this was well reviewed or not, and I actually have a sneaking suspicion I've mixed it up with The White Sake So C, which is a Jane Eyre offshoot, which I also haven't read, which I want to read, and I have a feeling that this one was panned, but I, but it was only, like, it was part of the package as it were so we'll find out won't we yes we will um i got these for patrick and yes i know walt disney but winnie the pooh i couldn't find any original winnie the pooh but i did get the tawny scrawny lion 
because it was a whole kids section and to be honest it was a little uh, religious there were religious books everywhere in the kids section which was a little interesting so I had to dig through to find the good stuff but um, hopefully hopefully he'll, um, he'll like those and I own Jurassic Park and of course I've never read it so of course I see this at the book sale and go oh I've got Jurassic Park I should buy The Lost World <coughs> once again this is how my brain works once again pretty near perfect condition so I can't complain about that and this will make Marge reads and I think in spring the dawn and one girl too many books happy the bronze horseman for a read along next month I'm still waiting for the wind up road chronicle to come in um, for my read along this month with care and um, what happened was I, I was going to get it out of the library but of course somebody after months and months of it not being borrowed at all somebody borrowed it and then it was something like five days overdue and I was like really it's fine so I um let's get again I found it on trade me and so I've bought it and so I'm just waiting for it to show up on my doorstep as it were and this is the one that I was actually most pleased with from the book sale which is the children's treasury of literature and as you can see in color now disclaimer there are a few they like Lily race fail stories in this there's a couple of Bray Rabbit and you know the, the kind of those kind of stories that we obviously won't be focusing on but the illustrations are amazing this a friend of mine was looking through and she pointed out that a lot of the illustrations are actually their woodcuts and the the color even the color illustrations and if you look at this is an extract there's an extract from the Wizard of Oz and the illustration is all in green and there's so many there's uh hang on doo, doo, doo. <laughs> now of course i can't find them oh no but look at this look at this look at this look at that isn't that amazing so he's a little bit young for that yet obviously but um i'm hoping in a few years um that he'll he'll want to dip in and out of it because i had books like that when i was a kid i had you know treasuries of children's stories and things that i used to dip in and out of and <clears throat> read and, and and really enjoy so um so that was my my book sale experience and the other thing i wanted to talk about is that and i've been resisting this for a long time because i have my blogs and i have you know the the book chat one and this and that um but i started a tumblr today because um amanda at pocus po i'm sorry i mispronounced that i know i did is doing a weight loss challenge which i decided to join um and so i've started a tumblr and it's called jane says because my middle name is Jane and I've been feeling very kind of Jane-ish lately so that's why, why it's called that so you should follow me there and I'm going to talk about the um, it's 52 books and 52 pounds and 52 weeks and yes we're on the metric system but for the ease of the challenge I'm going to do it in um, um, pounds <coughs> I have the urge to say pounds, shillings and, shillings and pence after that but I, I won't no I just did didn't I so um, you should come and follow me there because I'll be talking about food and exercise and things hopefully and reading and it's just going to be um like days me more is meant to be a photography kind of blog for the project 365 challenge which i've dipped out on again by the looks um it's just another kind of adjunct to just add books which is still my main blog but i, I kind of wanted to separate this out from that so i'm not cluttering it up too much and um yeah that's all I have because now I'm rambling I can hear myself rambling in my head <laughs> and you're all just going to be going oh look at the cute kitty cat anyway aren't you yes yes you are um and so uh, yes that's all I have that was my book sale and of course because I'm me I also went to the library yesterday and got out more books and I can't remember what they were and we went to the library today to take Patrick to the kids library so he could you know play in the kids section um and I got out um uh, ended up getting out on impulse the origin of the species by Charles Darwin because I was looking for mastering the art of French cooking by Julia Child which allegedly is in but it is not um but so that, that, that's been on my sort of want to read list for a while so we'll just see if I get anywhere with it and you'll hear about it if I do I'm sure on Twitter and on that note I am saying good night good night